Hey, what is up guys? I am Hippie. I want to welcome you back to a brand new episode of, oh my god, of the Archer playthrough season 2. Um, I just accidentally sold... <laughs> okay, I just accidentally sold a depressing item. That really sucks. I'm going to sell these two because they are just normal stuff. Okay. Um, I think... We want to swap some stuff out too. Let's go ahead and put on that helmet. And I'm trying to decide which one of these would be better. Hmm. I guess that one. I suppose. Let's go ahead and sell some stuffs. And we're going to just hang out and do some stuffs today. I keep saying stuffs, don't worry about it though. It's completely fine. So I have these I can't even use. Uh, last time I was in the actual Archer playthrough, I <laughs> I was playing with Seb, and we kind of merged the two and just hung out for a bit and did a few quests and stuff like that. Um, we got some stuff to do, but I'm not entirely sure what. Maybe we could do Lord of the Clock. Yeah, I guess let's do that. Okay, so um, I'm doing a bunch of pre-recording, so... This will come out on, I think, Monday, but I'm actually recording this the previous Saturday, so this video is actually a week old, um, because I'm not going to have a whole lot of time during this week to record, um, working on some stuff that I want to do on YouTube, working on some schedules, and also thinking about some other things, so... Uh, I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to actually record, so I am pre-recording a ton of stuff. Um, I'm talking like, I think I've recorded nine videos so far today, all throughout like Win and some other things as well. Um, and yeah, we're just going to pre-record and get a bunch of footage together and uh, yeah, just just upload them all throughout the next two weeks, which is... Uh, last week and just the rest of this week then after that it'll be fresh content again because I'll, I should have some some good time in between then and now um, my thing is that I'm working on some stuff an Easter egg that's gonna take a lot of editing and uh, a kind of like a highlights video I suppose that both of these came out last week by the way so I can talk about them it was the um, my mind is all over the place, sorry. The Botman uh, highlights video and the Rotorock Easter egg. Not that it takes a whole lot of time uh, to do those. It took a little bit. I've only gotten to the point right now as of this video where I am recording. I've finished recording all the Botman stuff, so I haven't done any of the editing. Um, of course, you guys, if you've already watched it, then it already came out, but... Um, yeah, I haven't picked any of the music I used or how I'm going to edit it. Of course, you guys already know all that because it's pre-recorded, like I said. But um, I'm still working on all that. And the... Oh, come on. What is it called? The uh, Easter egg. That one is going to take a little bit of time just because of the stuff i got to do and the stuff i got to film and stuff like that. So... Um, that's what I've been up to in the time that I've been uploading these pre-recorded videos, stuff like that. So I'm also working on some other things and testing some stuff out with a little bit of different editing style on some things, but I don't think those are going to be uploaded. It's just some Skyward stuff and um, random stuff like that. I also, hopefully as of this week, will have some more Attack on Titan and sword art I'm getting I think I'm getting close to to moving on to the second floor in sword art um, I think that'll be cool to move on to the second floor and actually start doing some more higher level stuff and looking around the second floor I have no idea what it looks like yet and I think I should be enough high enough level if not I'll just do some grinding uh, last week and then uh, now this week which is actually this week it's a bit confusing, I'm sorry, but 
Like, to me it makes sense in my brain, but to you guys it might be like all over the place and confusing. I'm sorry if it is, it's just, yeah, I kind of had a pre-record and that makes things weird when I talk about stuff. Because I have to talk about it in past tense, because uh, you guys have already seen it. And I don't want to confu confuse you guys, making you think that it's something else coming out. Like, for instance, when I was just talking about this montage. You guys have already seen the montage at this point. It's already been uploaded. But I don't want to say it as I'm working on a montage, because then you guys could think that there's a different montage coming out later. In reality, <laughs> it's just the Botman montage that's going to be coming out last week. <laughs> I sound like a crazy person. <laughs> so, yeah, that's basically what I've been up to. Uh, is working on some videos that have already come out for you guys and uh, I'm gonna continue to work on those videos that have already come out for you guys and in return do some pre-recording and some stuff like that but yeah it's I'm sorry I just I don't know how to explain it any better oh, okay don't want to say hello okay I thought it doesn't bother me any. <clears throat> I'm not sad. Don't worry about it. Where's the entrance? Oh, we just leveled up. <laughs> okay. I think it should be somewhere around here, actually. Um, we might actually have to do a little bit of grinding this episode. I'm not entirely sure yet. I think we got a lot of quests. Some of the quests have already been done since they... You guys know I switched from Archer to Hunter after I got the V up. Okay, let's go up. Time to throw this. Well, we're not gonna actually throw the clock in there. We're just gonna give it to Fruity. Let him decide what to do with it. I think that should be okay. God, it's so weird having. Wait, what? Oh my god, I haven't even unlocked my spells yet. Ah, it's so weird playing on a lower class. I've been playing on my 88 all week um, and just grinding away. <laughs> I want to tell you guys something about my mage class. I know this is the Archer playthrough, but I want to talk about my mage class real quick for a second. Okay, so I originally got a pure from a subscriber. It was really awesome who gave me a pure um, along with some legendaries and stuff like that. And it was incredible. It was actually a pretty good pure. It's like 312 or something. Um, I think that's average or be above average. Um, and he just gave it to me for free. And I used that for a really long time until I got an opportunity to buy another peer, I think from Hyprosis, and I think I ended up giving him like 30, 40 something LE and some end games. I've been getting a ton of end games. Can I just do that then? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I have that stuff. I've been getting a ton of end game, the Zodiac armor, for a video that I wanted to do where I wanted to show um, end game builds for different classes. So I've been building up the armor and trying to get all the items that I need to show you guys and let you look at the perks and stuff on them and stuff like that. So, I've been grinding for endgame, and I've been getting actually a ton of it. Uh, like, right now, I'll try to show you guys my bank when we get back to a town, um, because, like, half of my bank is full of endgames. Um, and so, I tried to high process, like, three endgames or something, maybe four endgames, and um, some LE for a better pure. That one was, like... 398 or something or it might have even been like 412 or something like that uh, anyway it was a really good pure and I gave the other pure which was given to me to <laughs> Max Shogun and he gave that to one of his friends <laughs> okay then I how did I lose my pure oh I remember oh I hope I don't die please no please no please stop burning um, this was a really funny deal. I died. Okay. Um, one second. Let me buy some potions here and hop back over, and I will join you guys back there once I'm uh, ready to go again. Okay. We can just start again from here, because um, the story might take a little bit to tell. So, I have the pure, which is, like I said, I can't remember. It's either 390 or 412, which 
uh, either way is above average and is a pretty good peer. Um, I have that and I planned on keeping it and there was no problems. Then um, I know this really cool person that wanted a mythic and so I decided to try to get them a mythic and I found a guy selling a mythic, the same mythic that they needed. And <laughs> so I messaged him, I'm like, all right, listen guy, at the time I had like a stack and a half after asking everybody I knew and getting everything together and trying to buy this, uh, I came up with a stack and a half of Ellie. And wow. So I tell the guy, I'm like, all right, listen, I got this stack and a half. How much do you want for uh, your mythic? And he's like, oh, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm either gonna auction it or uh, try to sell it tonight. I'm like, okay. I have a stack and a half, would you sell it tonight? He's like, no, a stack and a half isn't quite enough. I'm like, okay, how much would it be? The absolute buyout. Like, how much would it? How much would I have to give you to buy it clean right now? Um, and he tells me two stacks. He goes, you can buy it out for two stacks. I'm like, okay, deal. I went and... <laughs> now you guys are going to say this is stupid. Now, I understand why you think it's stupid, but to me it wasn't. And... Um, if the plan had worked, it still would have been completely fine. I would have been completely happy with the way it worked out. Um, so I go and make a forum post that I'm selling my peer. Uh, however, he said that I had to buy it out right away. So I go and make a forum post and I say that I'm selling my peer for one stack of LA, which is incredibly low for that peer. I probably could have got 90 to 100. So. I go on there and make the post for 64 LE and somebody responds and I sell the, po the peer, get the 64 LE, I now have two and a half stacks of LE and so I go and tell the guy, I'm like, okay, I got your two stacks, um, where do you want to meet? And he goes, no, 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 I'll add you to the, I'll add you to <laughs> the bid. Then he goes and puts it in his store <laughs> and I'm <laughs> so mad at this point and he goes, somebody just offered me 205, sorry. So, listen, as much as I'm angry at the guy, I still wanted to get this pure for this person. And so I tell him, okay, I'm like, all right, listen, 210 or whatever I told him. And it ended up finally being at like two and a half stacks, which was everything I had. It was a good mythic and it was worth two and a half stacks. However, at this point, I was just so mad that the guy basically told me, yeah, well, not basically, he like literally told me. Uh, two stacks, you can buy it out right now, and it's yours. And so I go and sell the pure, get the two stacks. I'm like, okay, I got the two stacks. Then he adds it to his store on the forums and um, tells me that I can't have it. And then, so I'm still trying to get the mythic for this person. I didn't end up getting it that night, um, but I'm like, okay, I still got the bid. Fine, I'll try to get it. And he has me marked down as the highest bid for like a week and a half. And still won't give it to me because he's still trying to get more for it so finally I pulled my bid and I'm like alright I, I can't wait any longer I gotta get a, a, a mythic so I take that money and I did actually end up getting the mythic for the person it was another one it wasn't quite as good actually it was pretty terrible but um, I was at least happy that I could get them a mythic after all that time of, of trying to get it for him and then, um, so I'm back to where I'm at. I got like a stack or whatever left. I buy a bunch of like end games and stuff like that. And um, back to broke and I got like 10 LE. And then I save up a little bit more. I got like 25. And I find a person selling another pure. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'll finally get a pure back. Uh, it's actually a pretty good one. It's like 370 something, 380 something. And um, I managed to buy it. For 25 LE and three pretty good endgames, Zodiacs. So I get another pure and I have it and I'm so happy I got another pure and I finally got a mythic again. And then <laughs> the next day, not even kidding, the very next day, I, uh, I'm i in Rotorock grinding at this spot that I like and <laughs> I'm taking my hand off my keyboard to do something. I can't remember what it was, scratch my nose or whatever and I bring it back down and instead of hitting W I hit Q and I throw my 
mythic on the ground, which isn't a problem. I can just drop down and get it. I wasn't paying attention to how many mobs had gathered below me. It turns out there was about 30, and I dropped down and immediately get murdered, and my pure is gone. So, yeah, I went from having a pure, trading it up for a better pure, and using that pure to give to someone else, then selling my good pure to get someone else another mythic, then finally, <laughs> finally finding someone that's selling a pure that I can afford, buying a pure, and then immediately throwing it on the ground and getting nothing from it. So, unfortunately, um, I am peerless again, so people have been asking me where my peer is, and I'm just kind of like, oh, you know, I threw it on the ground. <laughs> so, that sucks, but um, I don't have enough monies to buy another peer right now, so I have to either find somebody who is wanting to sell a peer, or not sell a peer, but trade a peer, or somebody that's looking for zodiacs to sell, and um, eventually come back up with enough peer, or enough money to buy a peer again, because, yeah, right now I just don't have enough money to do it, so, I'll figure it all out, though, it'll be all good, um, by the way, there's a chance that, in case any of you guys are selling zodiac armor, uh, for a little bit cheap. I don't want you to cut me any deals. I'm talking about like if it's not as like good as top tier or something like that. I don't really need it to be top tier. That's not the reason I need them. Um, Zodiac armor. Let me know in game and maybe I can try to buy some some Zodiac off you guys because I'm going to need um, eventually almost every piece of Zodiac armor for a video. I'm also going to need the very high level legendaries like the uh, third eye and um what is the pants for a mage varwal or something like that and that type of stuff um so if you guys have those and you want to try to sell them to me or something like that let me know and yeah maybe i can try to buy them and it would help out with a video well not a video like a series of videos like i think it would be five videos or something like that so um, that'd be really helpful and I could use that so much so let me know if you're trying to sell any of that stuff that you don't want or whatever it is um, but yeah I think that's gonna go ahead and do it though for now I have been hippie and I'll see you guys next time